hi uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use this WordPress job board plugin and to show you the demo of this plugin I will click on this official sites demo button as you know wpjobmanager.com has this plugin available for you free of cost you don't have to pay for it you don't have to worry about any form of uh, maintenance and support everything is free add-ons are there which may be helpful for you but for now we'll just look at this plugin and see how we can use it for our own site right, so let's start with WP job manager if you want to use cutting edge version you can just download from here which is downloaded from github or from wordpress repository so here we are the plugin is here so let's just install it you can also find documentation here okay so let's just activate the plugin and it will show you the dashboard menu for the jobs okay so here it is job listings so let's add new job listing okay so say position of web designer then add it to Amazon China web man division okay so just fill it up for the sake of it name of companies Amazon HTTP Amazon dot com dot CN or China okay so that's just for the sake of it now you don't have to do anything else now this job listing information should be filled okay and posted by admin or guest user you can select that also email or url where users are supposed to go job type is here which is freelance full-time internship part-time temporary click on internship publish and see how it shows now that this job is added we can view it however if you want to create a page where all these jobs are shown just go to the pages click add new okay so we have here internship china amazon us website is here amazon china web development division so our job listed post is here Okay, now this is job board. We are going to add a short code called jobs. Now we are going to hit publish. As far as I know, this is a short code for adding the job board to your pages. So if you want to use any other short code, then you just have to check this documentation. Okay, so setting up job manager, right view page, job listing, job submission, page listing. Okay, so that's pretty much you have here. 
okay so when you create this job board page add job shortcode it will add the list of jobs that are available okay and you can search for the jobs you can choose the type of it and hit enter while searching for the jobs and it will show the respective page okay so that's let me just close this and we'll go back to our job settings now you have your how many job listing do you want on per page which is 10 by default you can hide the fill position or you can just remove those posts enable job categories if you want to add additional categories you can do so also there is job submission you can allow account creation so that guest user can log in and then they can post otherwise they are not allowed to and so they have to contact you by any other means for the job posting okay after that there is employer if you are going to use account for employer or any other type like editor author contributor that level is added here okay after that there is page slug application method which should not be of much use for you then there is add-ons add-ons can be downloaded from official website or you can just use it from here you can buy those add-ons like resume manager paid listing job alert indeed integration ninja forms job tax paid listing application deadline out of this paid listing seems to be usable where you can use stripe or paypal for the payment you can also use gravity forms for additional fields and there are some other like auto suggest auto suggest auto location resume suggest and many other plugins there is also theme which is called jobify all of these are paid so make sure that you purchase them and use them there is core add-on bundle which you can buy as well also let's take a look at job types the type of job you can add these are edited and you can add new here okay so this is pretty much the plugin is going to work if you need more information you can use these docs or you can make use of support page okay and then you can solve the problems of this I hope this tutorial helped you and if you have any questions if you want to see more such useful tutorial on WordPress or any other um, software related stuff do let me know in comments and I will try to see how much I can uh, share with you and also I, I can see if I can improve my uh, video quality sound and anything else possible i'll see you later thank you